One of the major applications of the AccuSlice is to resaw boards for making veneers, making thin boards, and making book match panels. During the development of the AccuSlice, we mainly worked with cutting small, thin sections of wood. This was used in making a lot of our segment of wood projects. To evaluate the ability of the AccuSlice to cut larger rings and boards, we first of all produced a new sacrificial fence. This new sacrificial fence measures 3 quarter inches in width, made from MDF, and is 12 inches high by 16 inches long. This will fit on our existing bandsaw, which has the capacity to cut boards up to 12 inches uh, in height. We begin the process by removing the existing sacrificial fence, which is only 6 inches high, and installing a new sacrificial fence on the system. What about actual boards themselves, the white boards? I have a piece of uh, ginkgo wood, uh, 12 inches high by uh, maybe 14 inches long. And I apply some double-sided tape to it, and I'll clamp this to my sacrificial fence. A couple of clamps again just to, uh, to set the glue or set the tape. Fence again and get ready for my first cut. This is probably the wrong blade for this thickness of wood. This is only eight, eight teeth per inch blade, but I'll give it a try. And I think when I'm done, then I'm going to put uh, one of the uh, carbide tooth blades on. People have asked about that too, how they work with the system, and I'll give that a try next. That board cut amazingly smooth. I was surprised. I mean, uh, there's no saw marks in that at all. And I don't have any uh, gumming up in my blade yet either. So this blade may work fine with this, this particular piece of wood. I don't think it would work, work as well on something like Paduk, but uh, it worked pretty good here. I'm going to go ahead and cut a piece, uh, well, let's, let's go for a 25,000 inch thick piece of wood.
And there we cut a beautiful piece of veneer, 25 thousandths inch thick. No saw marks, no burn marks, perfectly clean. Let's do some dimensional checks on it. 25 thousandths, 26 thousandths, 25 thousandths, 25 thousandths, 24 thousandths, 24 thousandths, 25 thousandths, 25 thousandths, 25 thousandths. Extremely straight, parallel, and a smooth surface. So I just replaced the blade with uh, one of those carbide tooth blades. I think this is a Laguna blade. It's about uh, three teeth per inch. Uh, so we'll see how it works and we'll compare it to the finer uh, rake tooth, eight teeth per inch blade. So that's the board that came off the uh, carbide tooth blade, not near as smooth as the rake tooth blade. In fact, this is a previous cut with the 8 teeth per inch rake tooth blade. I don't know if you can see it in the video, but there's a definite difference. So this blade is coming off my band, so I don't plan on using it again. The blade I would normally use for cutting a board of this width would either be a, a 6 teeth per inch or maybe even a 4 teeth per inch. So I just installed a, a 6 teeth per inch blade and we'll compare this with the 8 teeth per inch blade that I ran previously and also the carbide tooth blade. Well, that blade cut pretty good for that uh, six teeth per inch. This is actually a six teeth per inch PC blade. It's not a rake tooth design, and it's not quite as smooth as the uh, the rake tooth blade. So I'll stick I'll stick with the rake tooth blade, the eight teeth per inch for most of my cuts. I realized that that previous board I cut, I cut with the grain. So I cut the board down to a 12 inch square board, and now I'm going to repeat the cut uh, across the grain. Now we'll compare the cross grain versus with grain cuts to see if they differ, and see if it comes up my blade now too. The initial position of the board. Now we'll cut a hundred thousandths with board. So there's our hundred thousandths board thickness and we'll do some mic checks on it. Hundred thousandths ninety nine one oh one hundred thousandths one oh two one oh one ninety nine one hundred 100, 100, 
What I have next, I have a piece of cherry. This cherry is about eight and a half inches wide by about 13 inches long. And I want to make some uh, book match panels. So I want to divide this in half. So I'm going to begin by attaching it to the Acu slice. Next, attach some parallel clamps to set the tape so it holds there. Remove the clamps. I'm just estimating where the center of the board is. I just want to cut it approximately in half and we can uh, run it to the planer later. Next, remove the board from the sacrificial fence. The double-sided tape holds the board quite firmly, so either a putty knife or a chisel is needed to release the tape. Normally, I remove the board from the sacrificial fence off the bandsaw. And there we see the results of our book-matched panels. I would then run these three through the planer or the drum sander to you know, get them the exact same thickness. <laughs> 